Hey guys, welcome to Procedural Ivy Generator with Houdini and Unreal Engine. My name's Richard, let's jump in. So the aims of this video series are to create a game ready foliage at it, ready for UE4. We're going to adopt a procedural approach to quickly create variety and speed up the prop placement process which if you've worked with foliage in the past you know placement can be very very time consuming we want to automate that using the procedural tools in Houdini it will also give us a great opportunity to explore some of the unique features of Houdini such as L systems randomization through attributes and copy stamping and also take a look at for each loops as well in addition, we will explore uh, some pipeline stuff. So we'll look at how we can use Houdini dig digital assets to package up our work. And then we'll take a look at how we can use the Houdini engine plugin as a pipeline, as bridge between Houdini and Unreal Engine. So let's just quickly break it down. How are we going to approach this? First of all, we're going to design an L system IV stem. Now, if you've never used L systems before, don't worry, we're going to take an introductory look at how we can use them to generate geometry. Then we'll move on to using a Megascan Atlas texture map to create a leaf. And then we'll bring those two systems together using a bit of attribute randomization and loops and a few attributes. We're going to mix it all up and create some nice randomness that would be very, very difficult and very time consuming to do manually. Once we've got our ivy stem or frond or leaf, whatever you want to call it, we'll then look at ways we can cluster those together. And again, adding more layers of randomness on top. So we get a different look every single time with very, very minimal effort once the, uh, the procedure is in place. Then after that, we'll take a look at some considerations before we export into Unreal Engine. And we'll look at how we can build that digital asset and using the Houdini Engine plugin, show you ways that we can move data very, very seamlessly between the two programs to really speed up our asset placement in the game engine. Once we've done that, we'll jump into UE4, do a little bit of material building, a little bit of configuration of the, of the, of the assets when they come in. And we'll look at the more traditional method of moving data backwards and forwards using FBX files. Okay, so a lot to get through. I hope you'll stick with me. Um, so don't forget, if you want to know more, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.